today we are going to discuss about the adaptive radiation in theories of biological evolution in evolution. Adaptive radiation, the evolutionary process which produces new species diverge from a single ancestral form becomes adaptive to the newly invaded habitats is called adaptive radiation. So a new species has formed from a single ancestor with divergent characteristics. So that was adapted by a newly, that is, that was adapted by a newly invaded habitats. That is called adaptive radiation. The adaptive radiations are the best example in closely related groups that have evolved in relatively short time. So it is very, very much explained and explained, that is explained in closely related groups that have a, that have evolved in a short time period okay darwin finches and australian morubsils are the best examples of adaptive radiation when more than one adaptive radiation occurs in an isolated geographical area have the same structural and functional similarities it is due to conversion evolution that is convergent evolution so the adaptive radiation shows the same that is they have evolved from the same geographical area and same structural and functional similarities. The same functional and structural uh, similarities are seen and that is due to the convergent evolution. Darwin finches. So the common ancestors arrived on Galapagos about 2 million years ago. So it is a common ancestor that has arrived in Galapoga 2 million years ago. And during that time, Darwin finches have evolved into 14 recognized species differing in the body size. That is 2 million years ago, Darwin finches at that time has evolved 14 different species, recognized species with their different body size. So the changes in the size and the form of the beak have evolved that has enabled the different species to utilize different foods resources such as insects, seeds, nectars from cactus flowers and blood from igneous and all diver that is driven by the natural selection. So they have adapted to the according to the food the beak and the body size was changed. So that is the big size and the form was changed according the food they took. Okay. So the figure 6.2 represents some of the finches absorbed by Darwin shows the genetic variation of ALX1 gene in the DNA of Darwin finches. It is associated with the variation in the beak shape. So the gene which is responsible for the beak shape is ALX1 and mild mutation in ALX1 gene leads to the phenotypic change in the shape of the beak of the Darwin finches. So that is the Darwin has absorbed in the finches that is Darwin finches the gene ALX that is responsible for the uh, beak variation the shape. So there is a mild changes that is the mild mutation occur in it. ALX1 and this leads to the shape of the beak changes. So you can see here the example and the variation of the beak and this is that is according to the food the beaks have been changed here and here. So you can notice this diagram. Okay. Okay. Marsupilis in Australia and placental mammals in North America are two subclasses of mammals. So they have adapted in similar way to particular food resources, locomotory skills or climate. So marsupilis in Australia and placental mammals in North America, they are the two subclasses of mammals. So they are the two subclasses. They adapted the some of the similar characteristics for food resources locomotory skills and for the climatic. So, and they were separated from the common ancestor more than 100 million years ago. So, 100, before 100 million years, these both 
uh, animals are the from the common ancestor but now uh, now that is after that it was separated it was derived from separate ancestors and each lineage continued to evolve independently so despite the temporal and the geographical separation marsupials in australia and placental mammals in north america have produced varieties of species living in similar habitats with similar way of life so the overall resemblance in the shape locomotory mode feeding and foraging are superimposed upon different modes of reproduction so their their characteristics have been entirely changed so this feather the future reflects that their distinctive evolutionary relationship so it shows the distinct that is different evolutionary relationship between these two animals so over 200 species of marsupials live in australia along with many fewer species of placental mammals so the 200 species live with the, uh, the placental mammals in australia so it is one of the um, variation so you can see this darwin finches hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box if you want to watch the video in tamil i had given the link in the description box you can go and watch it give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel